is the relationship between you and your inner being mm. and once that is really really established somebody who's not a vibrational match to that won't even show up on your radar but if you've got a wobble going on then you're gonna be attracted to others that have the, the wobble going on the, are, are, are you getting what we're talking about when you are really in alignment with who you are only those who are really in alignment with who they are will come into your radar but if you're sort of wobbling all over the place then you've got a wider range of those that are going to be attracted to you and you to them well the thing is is that she's she's into going to church and praying to God and you know I believe in God and I, I, I actually communicate with angels too and I guess that's that's even another thing too is 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 there you know is there angels up there you know and, and I feel like they communicate through me and I now we've changed the subject I, I guess <laughs> because because she she saw the angel cards on my in my home that was why and that, that freaked biggest, her out it freaked her out yeah she likes devil cards <laughs> I don't <laughs> exactly it's exactly it really boggled my mind and she goes to church and prays to God. I really like you and I like the roses but there's far too much well-being around you for me <laughs> there's, you're, you're just surrounded by well-being I can't take that I, mean, <laughs> I like exactly I like, my point I like my men to beat me I, I, I know <laughs> well we're just exaggerating we're, we're just pointing out the absurdity of someone being freaked out by angel cards yeah or by or by positive emotion or by someone who's appreciating them in other words and so but what we really want to say is why is it necessary this is this may be the most important question that anyone has ever asked anyone and we're asking you hmm. why does it matter why something isn't a match when there are so many matches right Why and I truly it? I truly believe that because but, even, that, but, but, but okay. let's stay there for just a minute because the tendency is to try to figure out why this wasn't a match that's like asking right. somebody why they don't want to eat peas mark mark won't eat peas <laughs> he won't he won't eat peas and Esther takes him to a restaurant in Del Mar where they make the most unbelievable fresh green pea soup not mm. split pea fresh green soup it is the best thing Esther has ever put in her mouth and she cannot get Mark to even touch it to his lips <laughs> <laughs> and if Esther decided to make that her quest <laughs> she would squander the rest of her life trying to get him to do something he's never gonna do in other words and why why do, why make something important why make why make something important that that isn't matching there are millions of other things where mark matches in all of this but the P thing has really got Esther worried <laughs> she plotted she plotted how she was going to introduce him to peace she was gonna put something on something that he liked <laughs> you think we're kidding we're not kidding about this in other words <laughs> we're not kidding about it in this we're not kidding about this concept in this sense mm. the path of least resistance what does that sound like to you the path of least resistance the path of least resistance not the path of proving myself not the path of figuring out why somebody doesn't like me not the path of understanding what went wrong the path of least resistance the path of least resistance the path of least resistance every don't make things hard make things as easy as you possibly can which means mm. we would spend not one more minute trying to figure out why someone wouldn't be delighted with what you have to offer just accept that if that there was more resistance on the path than needed to be and now just look for the path of least resistance mm -hmm. and I almost felt like it's uh, almost like the universe is testing me to see like hey you're getting closer to the woman you're about to attract into your life the let's see let, let's see if you can the universe is never testing you test. ever okay. ever 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 okay. ever 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 that's why you shouldn't go to church no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go that makes sense <laughs> you should go to church that's but that's the part that they've got the most wrong okay that's the part they've got the most wrong 
The universe is not testing you. The universe is is yielding to you evidence of where you are vibrationally. Mm, okay. How else are you going to know? Right. And it, so, so when something begins to manifest and it doesn't feel right, don't try to make it righter. Just mm -hmm. step back into the wobble, less wobble free zone. Mm -hmm. I gave gratitude though when that happened because I just was like, okay, good. I'm glad that happened because that was my clarifying experience. And, like, what, hey, and what is the clarification that came to you? The clarification came to me that that um, that, that, person, that person, uh, since I'm vibrating with that connection, that means that connection is about to come even faster, if that makes any sense. So, so since I know for sure that I'm in sync with who I am and what I want, mm -hmm. and something that I thought was, was um, a relationship that I thought that I wanted to pursue or proceed on, because it didn't happen, I now know that since I'm sure that I was in sync with who I am, then that must be the component that's out of whack. This is big. Because until you are sure that you're in sync, you can't know what components out of whack. And this is the thing they're wanting to help you to clarify. Because we, if we were standing in your physical shoes and anything that we thought we wanted wasn't coming into fruition, we'd say, oh good, more evidence that there's more vibrational adjustment for me to do. And the reason that you keep feeling like you need to do vibrational adjustment is because you're trying to fill the grid in too far. Really, roses on the first date. <laughs> I... <laughs> in other words, <laughs> What you want is just going to flow right to you. You don't have to try so hard. You don't have to try so hard. When you get in sync with who you are and what you are looking for in a relationship, it is our promise to you that another, and there are many who, who fit the vibrational equivalent, will flow easily and effortlessly into your experience. And that that's what you're looking for you're looking for the next logical step not the next challenge not the not the next thing mm -hmm. to conquer or overcome you're just looking for the next logical step it will always come in a steady path a steady trail of circumstances and events leading you to where you want to be but leading you to where you are right now wanting to be 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 so what you're saying is that I'm getting closer to it? It's just, it's just an element? Okay. <laughs> well, your question is sort of giving you away. Because, because your question is, is amplifying the fact that you're sort of writhing in the discord of not being there. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you can't be writhing in the discord of not being where you want to be and shorten it. You've got to be mm -hmm. happy where you are. Right. And that, that worries people because they say, oh yeah, Abraham just wants us to be happy where they, we are and have this vibrational vortex of attraction. <laughs> they, they don't care if what we want ever comes to us. We do care. We want full manifestation. We want you to have everything that you want. We just know that you can't get to what you want from the place of feeling angst about it not yet being there. You have to just chill out and know it's coming and take pleasure in the knowledge that it's coming. Take pleasure in the, in the data that you're collecting and in, in the emotions that you're feeling. This, right. is, this is such an important conversation to have because there, there is this gap between what you've created and what you've let in. It's there a lot, isn't it? The money you want, the houses you want, the dream jobs you want, the dream relationships you want. In other words, there are all kinds of things that you want that are still in the process of becoming. And as long as there is this gap, where your attention is upon the absence of them instead of upon the progress of them. Mm. So the emotion about it is progress if you feel good. Right. If you feel lonely, that's not telling you that you're moving toward what you want, but that you're pulling away from what you want. So it's the progress, it's the feeling of positive progress. That's why we, we have so many conversations with so many of you wanting to find ways to help you understand how it is that you create your own reality what makes what turns thoughts to things what does that 
how do you create your own reality well you think your way into being well that feels vague Abraham please explain it to me more okay we'll write another book and another book and another book we'll keep telling you how it is you think thoughts and you create a vibrational reality and then you've got to find some way of making peace with the vibrational reality that you've created which means you can't long for what's in there that you don't have you have to be happy about what's in there that hasn't manifested yet you have to be trusting that what's in there will show itself to you in its fullness you have to be satisfied with the setup you have to be pleased with the with the nuggets along the way you have to be proud of yourself for feeling your emotions you have to know for sure that it is coming more important that you are coming to it you have to know that you're on the trail you have to take delight in the trail you have to be so happy about the journey that you're not upset that you haven't completed the destination because you will never complete the destination mm that's why so many relationships are good in the beginning and then they're not good anymore It's because you got there and you stop going there mm. you got to keep going right. there you got to keep going to the new things that the relationship keeps showing you that it can be a relationship is dynamic you are dynamic your relationship with your desires is dynamic life is dynamic it will never stand still you see mm. so you want to be happy that you want this experience that you wanted you want to be happy that that wasn't it and it's still coming you want to be happy that it didn't go away it's still there you want to be happy that you're clear even more clear now about what you want than you were before you want to be happy that the universe knows really who you are even better than you do you want to be happy that the universe is giving you an opportunity to figure out who you are so that the universe doesn't give you who you are <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part oh, of all of this great. Yeah. one day a woman was talking to us about her son an adult who wanted a mate and wasn't finding one and so she wanted us to give her words that she could give him so that she could help him get a relationship and she said he it's just he's not coming and we said well w w this isn't really w w something that we would be encouraging right now she couldn't understand why we wouldn't just jump into it and try and we said if he attracts somebody right now that person she will be just like he is which means she also will be unemployed she also will have low self-esteem she also will not like most anything about most everything <laughs> and when they come together they'll just bang around together and make all of that worse and she says oh yeah that's what's been happening and we said what what he, what you're wanting to help him find is stability and from that stability now this is a powerful exaggeration from where you are that's not we're not meaning to say that you're far from it but we are meaning to say you're picky we are meaning to say you're deliberate we are meaning to say you know specifically what you want we are meaning to say you must be willing to wait for what you want and if something that is far from what you want is showing up give them roses and set them free <laughs> <laughs> that's great because it is a sure thing that what you want what you want what you want what you want it's all key and that freaks people out they say oh Abraham wants us to enjoy the journey because we're never gonna get to where we're going so they want us to be happy with the journey that's not what we're saying at all if you are enjoying the journey you're always where you want to be and mm -hmm. every step along the way of it will be delicious as it is unfolding you see you're always where you want to be and life mm -hmm. isn't about out there life isn't about later life isn't about when she comes life isn't about when he comes life isn't about when that happens and that happens life is right now how you doing mm -hmm. it's right now how you doing how well have you practiced it how you doing now how you doing now how you doing now I'm happy now alignment I'm eager now I like that I like that I like that I like that I'm wobble free now I'm happy now I'm eager now I'm interested now I'm appreciative now I'm happy now yeah I'm wobbling less thank you <laughs>